First Corinthians 2 and 9 But as it is written I have not seen nor ear heard Neither have entered into the heart of man The things which the Most High have prepared for them that love him Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai 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 Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone Shalom to sincere brethren out there pushing this word And to you sincere listeners I'm going to read this again 1 Corinthians 2 and 9 it says But as it is written I have not seen nor ear heard Neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the Most High hath prepared for them that love him Okay and that's absolutely right man I have not seen nor ear heard now that has it entered into the heart of man The things that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has prepared for us Okay And the things that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has prepared for us You know the kingdom Is gonna be you know So far beyond anything that we can imagine man Okay Now They have been revealed to us You know Through the spirit We can You know Read the prophecies concerning the kingdom But when we actually get there It's just gonna be on a whole different level man Okay, gold everywhere, you know, you have an abundance of gold, an abundance of women, an abundance of children, an abundance of property, abundance of wealth, abundance of slaves, you know, you can't really, you know, uh, begin to think, you know, what that feels like, man, or what that experience is going to be, okay, so the kingdom is going to be, you know, so far beyond anything we can imagine, man, all right, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going, you know, He's going to show us, you know, how much love he has for us by giving us the kingdom, man. Okay. Let's want to read this real quick, you know, uh, describing, you know, somewhat of how the kingdom is going to be. Okay. This is Isaiah 60 and 9. It says, surely the isles shall wait for me, the ships of Tarshish first, to bring thy sons from far. Okay. So, yeah, how about Shemiah Shah is going to gather you know, the outcasts of the nation of Israel. He's going to bring us back to that land. Okay? No longer are we going to be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth not knowing who we are, man. Okay? It says, their silver and their gold with them unto the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, thy power, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he hath glorified thee. Okay? And the Heavenly Father is going to put us on such a high level, man. That level that he told us about when we first came out of Egypt. Us being his holy people and being above all these nations on the earth. Okay? And then doing that and putting us on that level, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to give us gold. He's going to give us silver. You know? He's going to give us brass, iron. Okay? These different precious stones. We're going to have all these things in abundance, man. Okay? And you can't even begin to, you know, imagine how that's going to feel. You know? You wake up, you can just walk to, you know, a gold, one of the many gold balls that you're going to have. And you're going to see gold as far as the eye can see, man. Okay? That's the kind of glory that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has prepared for us. It says, And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Okay? And we ain't going to have to do no kind of work in the kingdom, man. Our only work is to serve Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, we ain't gonna be putting in no work, you know, tussling, toiling in the fields, you know, uh, uh, making wine, you know, pressing the grapes. We're gonna have our slaves and our servants to do that, okay? The kingdom that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is gonna give us is gonna be all about rest and serving Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man, okay? And you being in this society right now, you being on this earth right now, we can't even begin to, you know, imagine what that feels like. Okay? okay, nobody down here can say they know what rest feels like, you know, and when you look that word rest up, the definition of it is mental peace, tranquility, you can't get that anywhere here, you know, and this peace, this rest that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to give us is going to be everlasting, man, alright, it says, and the sons of strangers shall build up thy wall. So these other nations, they're going to build our houses. They're going to build our vineyards. They're going to set up our garden plots. You know, we literally not going to have to do anything. Okay? 
It says in their king shall minister unto thee. They're going to be our servants. You know, pouring our wine, making our food, preparing the food, you know, going to get whatever meat you want to eat. All right. It says, for in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. Okay? And that's a heavy statement right there, man. Okay? Us leaving our gates open all day and all night. Okay? Because at nighttime, that's when these assassins and whatnot, you know, they be roaming about. Or your enemy would have an easier time entering into your city and taking it over, man. Okay? But we're going to be on such a high level. You know that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to put it in our spirit to leave our gates open, man. And anybody that comes in, they ain't going to be able to take us down. Because the Heavenly Father is going to put us on such a high level, man. Okay, anybody that wants to come and try to take the nation of Israel down, they're going to be dealt with severely. Okay. It said, therefore thy gates shall be opened continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. So these other nations are going to be steadily bringing us their wealth, man. Okay? Just like King Solomon, he had people coming from all around the world, giving him gifts, man. Okay? Giving him gold, giving him silver, giving him exotic spices. Okay? That's the same thing that we're going to get in the kingdom, man. All right? It says that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. And these nations that don't want to come and worship Yahweh, Yahushai, worship the nation of Israel, the Most High, going to deal with them, man. Okay? The scriptures tell you in the book of Zechariah that the nation that doesn't want to come up to serve the Heavenly Father at the Feast of Tabernacles, the Most High is not going to give them rain. Okay? So the Most High is going to, you know, guarantee for the nation of Israel that these other nations are going to look up to us, man. Okay, if you don't want to, you know, bow down to the nation of Israel, the Most High going to put you down. He's going to destroy you. Okay, so these nations are going to be forced to worship us. They're going to be forced to, to bring us their riches, man. They're going to be forced to bring us their women. Okay, their different precious stones, exotic spices, man. Okay, their good smelling woods. Okay. It says, for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee. The fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together to beautify the place of my sanctuary. Where's the place of the Heavenly Father's sanctuary? The land of Israel. Okay, you see how it looks now. You know, it's basically a desert. Yahweh Shem Yahweh is going to beautify that place again. He's going to make it as it was when it was called the Garden of Eden, man. Yahweh Shem Yahweh is literally going to give us a paradise. Okay, your house is going to be surrounded by, you know, all kind of trees, wildlife, you know. A true paradise, man. Okay, on top of the wealth that Yahweh Shem Yahweh is going to give us. See, the Heavenly Father is going to put us on such a high level, man. Okay. It says, to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. So we're going to be a physical representation of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai down here upon the earth. Okay, that's what the word uh, Zion means. It uh, goes back to the Hebrew word to Zion, which means monument. So we're going to be a reminder to these other nations that the Heavenly Father exists. Okay, and us representing Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, these other nations are going to bow down to us. Just as they would bow down to the Heavenly Father if he was to come down here upon the earth. Okay? They're going to give us their riches just as they would offer their riches to the Heavenly Father if he came down here. Okay? It says, Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. So when we get set up, okay? Right now, you got these other nations, and even our own people, they don't want to go through, you know, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American neighborhoods, man. Okay, for fear of, you know, something bad happening to them. In the kingdom, all these nations are going to flock to us, man. Okay? It's going to be a complete 180. Okay? So thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shall suck the breast of kings. And the milk and the breast just represents their uh, wealth. Okay? So we literally gonna liquidate these other nations and their riches, man. 
Okay, they're gonna offer their riches to us. Okay. It says, And thou shalt know that I the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushai, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the mighty word of Jacob. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver. So this is how much gold and silver we're gonna have, man. Okay? Brass is a very uh common metal. All right, you don't have to do you know too much digging to find brass. Brass is very common. So as common as brass is, that's how common gold is gonna be amongst the nation of Israel, man. Okay, you gonna have so much gold that your 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 houses are could probably gonna be made of gold, man. Okay, I was gonna say gold plated, but we gonna have so much gold that you can just build a house out of gold. Okay, your your bedroom chambers could be full of gold, man. Your bed could be made of gold. Okay, the dresses and, and drawers that you have could be made of gold, man. Okay, this is the kind of level that Yahabah Shem Yahushai is gonna exalt us to, man. Okay. It says, for brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver. So we're gonna have an abundance of precious metals. Okay, so much uh, precious metals, we ain't gonna know what to do with it. Okay. It says, and for wood, brass, and for stones, iron. I will also make thy officers peace, and thine exactors righteousness, Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy border. So you ain't going to hear about violence amongst the nation of Israel anymore. Okay? Uh, you know, Jake killing each other, Jake putting each other to death. Okay, Jake having these childish quarrels. That's going to cease to exist amongst the nation of Israel. And also the injustices that Jake enacts is going to cease to exist, man. Why? Because Yahweh Shem Yahushai is going to put inside of us the laws, statutes, and commandments, man. So we're going to be 100% righteous. Okay? It says, Wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy wall salvation and thy gates praise. The sun shall need no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord Yahabashim Yahushai shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy power thy glory. Okay? So no longer are we going to, you know, have to rely on the books. Okay? Us going through the scriptures, you know, reading the laws, studies, and commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahushai and learning them. Yahweh Shem Yahushai is going to put his spirit inside of us. Okay? And that's another thing that we have coming to us. The spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, is going to dwell with us 24 7, man. We're never going to be in a predicament where Yahweh Shem Yahushai is going to get upset with us and remove his spirit from us, man. Okay? So the glory that he's going to give to us is going to be everlasting. Okay? It says, the sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself, for the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai shall be thy everlasting light, and the days of thy morning shall be ended. So this sadness that we have, man, okay, from catching all this hell, it's going to cease to exist, okay? So when we get into the kingdom, Yahweh Shem Yahushai is going to bless us on such a high level. You're going to forget all about the hell that we caught in this place, man, all right? You're going to forget about all the bills you had to pay. You know, all the times you was late on your rent, all right? That's going to cease to exist in the kingdom. Well, that's what these other nations, they're going to have to worry about that, okay? It said, thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, will hasten it in this time. And this is some of the things that we have coming to us, man. Abundance of riches, okay? Abundance of land, abundance of slaves, man. Abundance of servants, okay? And abundance of children, okay? Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to give us all these things, man. All right? All we got to do is continue to wait patiently for his return. All right? Continue to be obedient to him. And these are the things that he has promised us. Okay, and Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai does not lie. So he's going to provide us these things. All right? So with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, Shem Yahweh Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom.